Hello on Thursday the 2nd of September and the Reverends Jason and Barbara hope that everything's going really well for all of you and your families, particularly those who've got uh, youngsters going back to school this week. Our opening sentence, awaken as Lord to your love, your light and your leading. Amen. Today's readings come from Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 20 and Luke chapter 5 verses 33 to 39. Will you come oh Sunday morning? I spotted a poster which posed that question a few days ago and was intrigued. The question was obviously an invitation to something, but that wasn't altogether clear. Perhaps that's why the question on the poster was posed that way, because it leaves you wanting to discover more. I know that it's possible to worship on any day of the week, and that all sorts of activities now take place on Sundays. But as that poster referred to something happening this coming Sunday, the 5th of September, I immediately wondered whether it was an imaginative invitation to an act of Christian worship somewhere. What I eventually discovered is that the words on the poster are a song title linked to events that happened 125 years ago. It was a rallying call to the people of Bolton to join in a protest march over access and rights of way up Winter Hill. And over 10,000 people responded to the call and joined in the march. The movement gained momentum and the next week over 12,000 joined in and they played their part in the eventual opening up of the countryside, quite some legacy. From that initial rallying cry and call to follow. And Jesus' call to follow, which we hear about in our Luke reading, is far more low-key than the rallying cry for Winter Hill. Think about it, Jesus starts by recruiting two people, Andrew and Peter, and shortly afterwards another two brothers, James and John. His rallying cry was much more of come and follow me, and he then added, I will make you fishers of men. But ultimately, it's had far more impact. Just think how from two, it's multiplied worldwide as people shared about Jesus' life-saving power and his transformation in their lives. If you want to hear more about this, come to church this Sunday and hear about Jesus' transforming power. I wondered whether the question, will you come on Sunday morning, was an invitation to church. So let's treat it in just that way. I'm now going to pray the community prayer. Loving Lord, we give thanks that you are already everywhere. We pray for the areas of Mill Hill, Gallagher's, Bank Top and Whitton. We think of everyone who lives in them, all who work there, and those who pass through these areas in their daily lives. We ask that you give us the eyes to see your vision for these places. Amen. And for our prayer points, Let's pray for all local churches, because they are at the very centre of our communities. Let's pray about the issue relating to the supply of test tubes.
for blood tests and that that is quickly resolved. And let's pray that the farmers can successfully collect in their hearts. We now come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen and we come to a final blessing christ the faithful shepherd protect you from all evil strengthen you with his goodness and lead you to the fullness of his life. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all today and always. Amen.